What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace a manifold air pressure sensor, also called a MAP sensor, on this 2015 Chevy Silverado. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. I wanna disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket, extension and ratchet. Loosen this up, grab the negative terminal, Slide it off, set it aside so it doesn't arc out by accident. We'll loosen up this worm clamp right here. Also over here is a worm clamp back here near the throttle body. Loosen this one up, the same straight blade screwdriver. I'll take this snorkel off this side, off the air box. And then over here, there's two pipes on each, each side. There's this little gray lock that you have to push down on the lock and then slide it out, just like that. You have to do the same on the other side. This one, I'm pushing up from underneath and then slide it up. And I can grab this and just slide it back, wiggle it a little bit, and the whole thing comes up. You don't have to take this air duct off to do this map sensor, but for the camera shot, it's easier to see. I'm gonna take a 10 millimeter socket, loosen up this bolt. Take this bolt out. There's a lock on the back of this connector. Just take a screwdriver, get in behind the lock. Just pry it sideways, just like that. Push down on the terminal, on the connector. And slide it up. Now we can grab the map sensor, twist it, pull it up. Take the map sensor, just make sure it's cleaned off. If there's any dirt on there, looks good. You can slide it in position. Push it down, take the screw, the bolt, get this started. My 10 millimeter socket extension and a ratchet. We'll tighten this down. I'm gonna take a 10 millimeter socket extension and a torque wrench. I'm gonna torque this to 40 inch pounds. Take the connector, line it up. Lock it in place, and then lock the connector lock. Right. Now we're gonna slide this into position. Now there's a little bracket right here that's gonna slide into that slot right there. So slide it on the mass, on the throttle body first. Get that lined up there. You can take and slide this on right here onto the air box. That's good. I'm gonna take a straight blade screwdriver, tighten up this worm clamp right here on the throttle body, and then tighten this one up as well. we will take these hoses, these are gonna clip in, make sure they lock in place. Do the same on this side. Take the negative battery cable, hook it up to the negative side of the battery. I'm gonna take a 10 millimeter socket, extension and a ratchet. Just snug this up. Grab the cable, just make sure it's nice and tight. Won't loosen up. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.